everybody. Hey. Hi, Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Corinne. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you guys. We're, we're here at the Feisty headquarters in Victoria. Where are you? Uh, we're in San Diego, in Bird Rock, in our mm -hmm. shop. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know San Diego. Um, we might have a celebrity guest appearance with my oh son. My gosh. May or may not be <laughs> coming on to the camera <laughs> on how well he behaves. But yeah, we're super excited to be here. And um, most importantly, celebrating International Women's Day and celebrating with awesome women like you guys, our movers and shakers. And um, we're super excited. We're going to do an unboxing here of some of the apparel, but first we wanted to kick it off and do a little discussion about, hey, who, what are influential women in our lives that impacted us in some sort of way? We're all women in business. So, um, how, you know, who in our lives, I guess, really contributed to that or in any other facet as well. But um you know, I'd love to take a moment to honor those women. So um, I'll kick it off. And I don't know if my mom's on here yet. I know. <laughs> mom, if you are, hi. Um, but I'm going to be a little cliche. I'm definitely going to say it's my fun. mom. Um, my mom was, oh, I see is like a small business owner as well. So um, from a young age, she always like had me, my sister in sports always talked about the importance of sports, like learning on and off the field. You know, you can take a lot of the, what you learn through the sports and apply it to other places in your life. And um, she owns her own company. She's a physical therapist. So uh, from a young age, like I saw her transition into being her own boss. And so I just always had that around me and the support from my family and especially her to believe in me and do whatever I want to do. And it's all achievable. Yeah. I love hearing that because like, because I think, because I'm a business owner, obviously, and my daughter sometimes perhaps gets ignored more than she would if I was not an entrepreneur. Um, and it's like good for me to hear from someone who's like had that experience with their own mom, that they're like, that you were able to like observe that and it became part of who you are. I love that. Um, yeah. I hope it's the same for my kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, do you want to say who next or who wants to go next? Uh, somebody else goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Over there. I see who's influential. Yeah. Do you guys want to do a quick? Well, should we, uh, should we give a little an introduction to who we are? Yeah, sure. Should we just tell the folks who's watching yeah. why we're here. Yeah. 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 So you go first. Uh, so I'm Sarah Gross. I was a Ironman two-time Ironman champion and, um, 14 years as a professional triathlete. And when I retired, I founded Feisty Media in 2017. Yes. <laughs> we together. These are our lovely perspective mm -hmm. footwear. My favorite running top. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and uh, we're not just saying that. This is actually yeah, my I'm <laughs> Signed by yours truly. <laughs> um, and we, you know, at Feisty, where our goal is to create an empowering culture for um, active women across the board. Um, and we have a big triathlon brand where we started called Feisty Triathlon. Mm -hmm. um, and Ellen mm, <laughs> <laughs> runs the Instagram page amongst other things mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I came to triathlon. I grew up racing triathlon. Um, I raced for Canada for about 10 years. Uh, and then I found Feisty really from the inception. I guess I was one of the first employees um, and then have got to kind of grow with it all, all along the way. So, um, yeah, so um what else? I guess my uh, inspiration from growing up, I would say again, I'd say my mom, she was the one who really inspired me to get into swimming. Um, my grandma was pretty badass. She was like one of the first geologists ever or to graduate from. Um, yeah, first one of the first female geologists to graduate from U of A. Um, and I'll say Sarah here, too, has been a huge inspiration in my life, too. Um, so those would be like the three influ influential women in my life. That's awesome. Do you want to say, I guess you can introduce Back to you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Corinne Margolis. I'm the designer and creative director for Perspective Fitwear. And I uh, met Steph at a race. Yeah, at a triathlon. <laughs> yeah, no at a triathlon. I've done, I believe, 11 sprint triathlons. Uh, 
I would really like to this year, maybe go to the next distance. <laughs> it's been like eight years and I keep, you know, it's always a challenge. It's, it's honestly always a challenge. I started from scratch. I've been always active, but I did other things like rollerblading, like, you know, other activities. And I decided one day, oh, I think I could do this. And I didn't know what I was getting <laughs> so myself like into. challenge, right? Or yeah, like, yeah, I went to a meeting. I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, oh yeah, that's, I think I could do that. <laughs> like, oh, you need to raise, you know, this much money. I, like, I didn't know anything. And um, so, I mean, I was raised in Mexico and, and it's a different culture too. Like I, I wasn't used to the whole, you know, team challenge thing. I didn't know what was yeah. going on. <laughs> but um, anyways, I, um, I got into it as after the first race, I was, you know, I wanted to do more races, hooked. of course. Yeah, I was hooked and um, I met Steph 2018. Uh-huh. Yep, like uh, at the end of 2018, yeah. yeah, at a race. And Alan, like you, Kern was my first like employee who came on to like, so, so we were like a team of two. <laughs> <laughs> yep, um, we clicked literally right away. We started working together the next week. I mean, yeah, and um, it's just yeah. you know, been an amazing ride. I actually, this morning on our meeting, I was telling Steph that, you know, I, of course, I'm inspired by my mom, but in terms of triathlon, um, I mean, in terms of my creativity and um, aside from studying fashion design, which also does come from that part of my mom, she's super creative. And um, as in triathlon, I, you know, I'm really um, inspired by stuff that she did an Ironman when I met her and she started this company and you know, I, we agreed on, you know, all the problems about apparel, how it was difficult to find, you know, nice things. And, you know, and so we still up to date, I think, agree on everything, <laughs> yeah. which is crazy in stuff. terms of like, <laughs> you know, design and everything and fabric, you know, uh, we just yeah. agree on pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. We and I think that's like a huge part of the company Well, and like why perspective was started. And I'm sure you guys can relate as well over at Vicene, a lot of the women wearing apparel, like for, for us as women, it's so much more of an emotional experience than it can be for men. Like they're like, oh yeah, sure. I'll put whatever on. I don't care how I look and it's great. And for some women, that's the case too. But why I think we, I wanted to start with apparel was because it's such an emotional experience. And so when you put something on for the first time, or you're trying to get dressed and figure out what to wear, that really sets the tone for your day, or even for like your mindset or your attitude, how you feel about yourself. <laughs> and so here at Perspective, that's why we wanted to start with the apparel and apparel and triathlon. We saw that as a huge opportunity of breaking down barriers to entry for women. Like the first thing you do when you sign up is like, what do I wear? Like, I don't know. And so then when you look at all the options and there's not a lot available or it's really expensive or you can't use it for a lot of things, it's catered to men. It's really um, disheartening. And you're like, I don't look good in these bike shorts. I don't even want to step out of my bathroom in them, let alone go out in public <laughs> and like run a race. So um, that's definitely something that has been near and dear to my heart that we want to help people like change their perspective, right? Like how you look, how you view yourself, the mentality that you have, regardless of what other people think, like that's what's most important. And so if we can, if we can outfit you to make you feel confident and comfortable and like rise to your challenge, whatever that may be, whether you're a first time triathlete or you're like Sarah killing it with all of the uh, wins, um, we are here to support you in that journey. And so that's why we're super excited about partnering with USAT, being their apparel sponsor, unboxing with you guys, the collaborations, anything we can do to help women feel just more confident to go after their goals. Yeah. One of the things like I love about perspective and since the first time we came into contact with you is like the size inclusivity that you sort of have baked into your brand. Mm -hmm. Um, cause I think that's a really important piece. Like we like sport, like we're using our body, we're talking about bodies and I think that's our size. body image, what's that? For the size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the sizing. Like, so that, but like an extra large from someone else is really a medium. 
<laughs> yeah. like, or so, some of the stuff is really tight <laughs> yeah like all the cycling stuff that I encountered literally I grabbed on the hanger and I'm like oh I don't even want to try this on like yeah horrible. and and that's a, a barrier to access too if, if you don't if you can't wear the clothes uh if the clothes don't fit then like you you can't have access to the sport so yeah we really appreciate um your yeah, efforts to be yeah. size and yeah. comfort is really mm -hmm. important when or you only this. feel comfortable wearing it for like one activity or one thing like right. that's where mm -hmm. we're like, hey how can we feel comfortable wearing a lot of stuff yeah that yeah. was another thing that i i kind of realized like every time i did a triathlon i wanted like a tri suit and it was super expensive and I didn't even want to use it for training because <laughs> I felt like it was going to rip or like, um, you know, something's going to happen to it. And I didn't mm -hmm. want to have it like I wanted nice pictures. So I wanted, <laughs> and you're not supposed to wait, right? Like, <laughs> you should race train day. and you're right. going to wear. It's like the first mm -hmm. thing, you know, they tell you you should train on whatever you're going to wear so you know. But, mm -hmm. yeah. and then also how it wasn't like, or it isn't like normal looking in the way that you can't do another activity. Like it looks right. like, you know, like yeah. you have to just do a race. Like, like you look weird. Else? You can't go to the coffee like, shop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can't go to the coffee totally. shop or you can't like, you know, go to do yoga or, or whatever. Or yeah. Whatever. And but I yeah. really like that idea that you could use it for mm -hmm. everything or more activities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm to kick it back to you though, really quickly. Who is influential in your life? Your life. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to, so like my answer to that question is always like everyone, you mm -hmm. know, um, <laughs> but I wanted to give a shout out like today to like Mary Sol Casado, who was, you know, mm -hmm. the first like president of a summer games federation who was a woman. Um, and for a long time, she was the only woman president of a summer federation, summer sports federation. Um, and I saw, I interviewed her one time in Abu Dhabi in about 2016. And I watched her cause she's the president. Right. And then there's all the national federations there, like at the world cup event. And I watched her go from like table to table of like groups of men who were meeting in like national, like in their national in, like the national federation and she was just a boss like she just like <laughs> she just like owned that you know and just went and had all these meetings um with all these like male run organizations and I just like I was super inspired by that and then I finally got to talk to her <laughs> have coffee and we did our interview so um yeah I just I'm grateful that we have that in our sport that that um example of leadership at the mm -hmm. very very top level yeah that's awesome mm -hmm. Well, cool. Do you guys want to start to open? Okay, so yeah, unboxing. We have we're unboxing because I, I love being a twelve year old with a YouTube channel. Gets to unbox. <laughs> yeah. So, are we? What's the best method? Gonna take here? a knife to this. Yeah. yeah. So, um, sure. Everyone knows okay. these are some of our pieces that we are doing in conjunction with Together We Thrive which is with USA Triathlon. If you go onto their website, you will see the link to their Women's History Month Together We Thrive page. That'll give you more information just about women in the sport of triathlon. Um, uh, they have a really cool timeline on there of like when the first thing started with women, where we are today. Big shout out that NCAA now recognizes uh, the triathlon as a uh, division, an NCAA divisional sport. And it's for women, which is really awesome. We're excited. We have, 40, <laughs> yeah, we have 40 schools for that. So that's, that was super awesome to have that come together, um, especially during um, Women's History Month. Um, and really exciting. So you can check out more about women in triathlon there. Oh, they're excited. <laughs> we got in. Oh my God. These oh, are so pretty. It's <gasps> so colorful. They're all yeah, in brand too. Fun colors. Yeah. I so love cool. color. Like it's like so my favorite. One of the jokes we have at Feisty is our brand colors are Feisty Purple and Rainbow. Oh, yeah. they're all on brands <laughs> everything is on brand okay here we go <laughs> so this is our fitted razor tank that has the together we thrive and on the back pockets? Have pockets on the back so like the stuff that you guys have with your gear through us the pockets are really great it makes it so that you can be on your bike with it it's utility but then like it's cute you can wear it to run or go to yoga but also it's super rapid drying so you can get it's designed to get wet you can go for when you're doing your triathlon you're swimming it whatever you prefer um this one's really the same color color. as the ones we got mm -hmm. it's the kind of the yeah. feisty purple mm -hmm. yep 
Yep. And that's our feel the flow short sleeve shirt. We do have stuff in other colors again, that has the pockets on the back. And we do also have stuff like, um, we have it in our Navy shirt here as well. So you'll, you'll see that on the website. They obviously have the pink one, um, on the website for the tank. We also have it here in black. So you'll, you'll see that on the website as well. I call dibs on these. Oh, <laughs> damn. Yeah, those are amazing. Our Look at that. I'm jealous. Super popular and okay. current designed. Um, so the back actually is doubled on the butt area. So it really like lifts and firms your butt, which is really nice. And then it just makes you feel like more put together. And then like, and it's not see-through. It's not see-through. No. You know, because the lighter colors... Yeah, so I can squat in this situation. Right. Yeah. And then still be wearing yellow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. And then that's the same version in the white. And same thing for the white. We doubled it in the back. And it comes with a huge pocket in the back of your waistband. So it fits your phone and all that fun stuff. <laughs> and then it also comes in black. We have our black legging on the website as well. But just some really fun colors. Trendy. Celebrate the women, um, in the sport. Um, we have other logos on the website as well. We have a cool quote up on the website with one of the shirts that empowered women empower women. Um, so you can check out that out there as well and shop some of the other fun stuff that we have, but yeah, we wanted to send all things that, um, Feisty also loves and mm -hmm. in support of international women's day and the month of March. Awesome. Thank you for sending us the fun colors. Yeah. <laughs> and everything's technical. It's all sweat wicking. It's all rapid trying. It has the UV protection. Um, another item that we uh, didn't have time. We have our flowy crop here as well. So I think you guys also had this too. I love the flowy crop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the Navy and then the black, um, that'll come printed. So this is a really popular item. This is one of the first items Corinne created and it's our best seller. <laughs> choice you can check it out there you can check it out on our website at perspectivefitwear.com there is a um, link over to the side that has the usa triathlon partnership and right there you can just go and shop all the apparel so you can check it out there see all the fun stuff you can email us with questions or if you have questions you can put it in the chat and we can try to respond but those are some ways to, this is my son's hand. <laughs> if you keep turning that way, <laughs> that way, it's because he's looking at me, expecting me to react hi, 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 and hi, I can't hi. ignore him. So <laughs> I'm like yeah. constantly looking to see he's safe. And like, women in business. I'm sure a lot of women can relate. It's like, yeah, take your kid to work days like every day. <laughs> um, but then you guys also, Feisty, you guys have some fun stuff coming up. What's going on over there? Yeah, so we have our, um, yeah, Feisty Women's mm -hmm. Performance Summit coming up at the end of the month. So that's virtual and it's March 25th to 27th. And essentially like we bring in, we, we realized actually I'll start from the beginning. We realized last year that like actually finding good information about women's specific training, um, and physiology, mental health, nutrition, um, all the cultural elements is actually kind of hard. And that like diet culture and the fact that women have been ignored kind of in the research is makes it difficult to know what is good information. So what we do is we like vet experts and bring them into the summit. Um, and so that, yeah, the summit is like, it's a lie. It's live over a weekend, but you also get access for the, um, the, the rest of the year to all of the, the playbacks. So we have 20 experts. We have Amelia Boone, who's like 20, mm. four, 20, four time <laughs> obstacle course racing world champion. Um, okay. we have, who do we have from triathlon? We have, um, um, Colonel, um, Yvonne Spencer from fast chicks. Um, oh wow! Notes, yeah. So that's awesome to have her on. And then, of course, we have Dr. Stacy Sims, mm -hmm. um, as another keynote speaker. Um, yeah, it's so yeah. interesting how it can cross over into so many different categories. 
like how you guys see that, like, wow, there wasn't a lot done for tests for specifically for women. Like a lot of it was catered to men or the, the information is really come out based on men in the sport and how they train. And it was the same thing with the apparel and the apparel industry. We call it pink it and shrink it, which mm-hmm. is basically like they take the men's version of like a shirt and then they just say, okay, the extra small is a women's extra large. And then we'll just change it to this color and we're good. Mm-hmm. And I've always said like women are not tinier versions of men. Like our bodies are different. We require different things, shirts, outfits, things fit differently. And it's the same thing with the nutrition and and how, you know, like we require different amounts of nutrition or exercise, what exercises are better for us, things like that. Yeah. Sarah and I talk about a lot and with our team, we talk about how looking back at our triathlon careers and And just wishing we had at least known that like, yeah, at certain times of the month, like you actually it's, and it's more of a mental thing, just like knowing that if you have an off, um, training session that it it could be related to hormones. And so like looking back, I know Sarah and I have talked about, we both wish we would have had at least that like awareness, um, to be able to, yeah, just, um, like be a little bit kinder to ourselves and understand that physiology plays a big Um, role in performance for women yeah and like a space to talk about it as well you know like (laughs) (laughs) if you can hear him (laughs) sneeze um but yeah like a creating a community and a space to talk about it that's what we say here at perspective too like it's more than just about the apparel for us just like for you guys it's more than just about like media it's creating a space where women can come and feel included and invited and like a safe space to feel like they can share their journey or there are other women like them who are having these same experiences or same questions and that's where for I know. us I was just thinking when we go to races when we go to the expos it's like one of the most fulfilling if not the most fulfilling uh, for me as a designer, um, sorry, um, is when I meet, uh, women that come to me, like what they're trying on our stuff or after they did the race or yeah, whatever, and they like hug me and some of them <laughs> even cried, like literally like, thank you. I've never had a bra or like a short or whatever that fits me like this. So good. Like for a race before like it made me feel so good and you know just that's yeah that's like the most rewarding to me because you know I do I do triathlon too and I know what they're talking about (laughs) I know how ill-fitting stuff can be and you know to me I personally that totally has to do for me how I feel out there doing the sport yeah if I'm not comfortable and I feel like you know this is like hugging my thigh and like the worst part like like, and every time I go on my bike I see that like yeah that bothers me (laughs) yeah yeah you know and and I don't know maybe not every woman is like that but I I know that there's a lot of women that feel like this yeah And and same thing with the training you know when I was training for my Ironman like I had a male coach and he was great but it was just like generic it was just like what he was doing and then I'm just doing it too and so it's nice to feel like when there's a community of of, of women that we can reach out to and, and ha- have the space to talk about it and and I'm like oh yeah like I have stuff going on or think my body reacts differently or now that I'm going to be, um, I'm expecting having my second baby. So like, that's going to look really different. What does it look like to work out postpartum, Mm -hmm. um, or breastfeeding or things like that? Um, so yeah, that summit sounds really cool. It sounds like it's going to be really educational as well. So that's Mm -hmm. awesome. Where can people, we can wrap up. We've got about like five minutes. So where can people go to sign up? So you go over to womensperformance.com. Um, very easy. I, I, I often tell this story, but when we looked into the URL, mm-hmm. mensperformance.com was like five grand and womensperformance.com was like 500 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so it just goes to show like, like what is, what is considered valuable, you know, and the, and the market. Yeah, um, like- anyway, so we grabbed womensperformance.com. So you can go there. You'll find all the information. We also have a podcast on the brand that I host every week that where I, I, um, interview experts in various topics. I had uh, just released yesterday, 
um, an episode about hor- all about hormones. We just took a broad view on hormones and how we, some of the ways we should be training a little bit differently throughout the various phases of our lives. So a really interesting um, conversation with Carla, um, whose last name I can never pronounce. Yeah, <laughs> it was a good, it was a good podcast. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, great. Well, we're so excited. We love partnering with you guys and just moving and shaking and changing things up in the triathlon industry and even so much more into hopefully that transcends for women into other sports as well, right? Triathlon is so multi-sport inspired. So doing a lot of different activities or people coming over from other activities to then try a triathlon and hopefully we can hook them and um, by creating this space and environment for them. So that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for um, tuning in with us and doing the fun unboxing. And everyone, um, yeah, check out their summit, check out the gear, go to our website, perspectivefitwear.com. You'll see um, when you scroll down, there's a landing page you can go to, or you can link to the USAT website. Um, where you can buy it. It's all month long. It is limited edition. So at the end of the month, it will be going away. So make sure you get online and order and um, be also supporting like women-owned businesses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And these are available for purchase as well. Uh, Give us a, give us a quick moment, a hot moment to figure (laughs) it out. We will, we will make sure you, everyone gets a a link for, um, these shirts too, because honestly, like, it's so funny. I go for runs and every time someone says something, I'm like, (laughs) I, I I run with the run squad and, and I I just show up and they're all like, feisty. (laughs) One of my best friends, like she loves the jacket, our bomber jacket. And she's like, can you put that feisty logo on? (laughs) (laughs) He just like loves your logo. I'm like, sure. It's a whole vibe. vibe. Yeah. Yeah. I love your guys' name. It's awesome. I I love it. It's like feisty and we're like perspective because like that's what it's all about. (laughs) Awesome. Well, great. Um, It was great tuning in with you guys. I think we get cut off in two minutes anyways, right? So that's a wrap. Any last minute thoughts? Again, happy International Women's Day. Thank you everyone for tuning in. It's Mm -hmm. so great. And it's just so fun to see this community come, uh, come together and come alive. Yeah, totally. Yep. Thanks for, for having us. Mm-hmm. Uh, so fun. Thank you to USAT as well for hosting. Yeah. yeah thank you. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Bye guys. Yeah. Bye.